The era of David Bakhtiari in Green Bay has come to an end following his release by the team last Monday. However, this doesn't mean the Packers aren't hoping for his return to the NFL. Currently, Bakhtiari's future is uncertain, with reports suggesting he won't be fully recovered before training camp. Nevertheless, according to NFL Network's insider Ian Rappaport, Bakhtiari intends to continue playing football. Why the Packers desire his presence in the league? Green Bay was slated to pay $21.5 million to David Bakhtiari in 2024. With his release, this salary is no longer applicable, but the Packers are left with $19.065 million in dead money, representing previously paid funds that hadn't yet impacted the salary cap. However, if Bakhtiari's knee injury prevents him from signing with another team, the Packers' situation could become more precarious. If he is unable to return, Bakhtiari is likely eligible for injury protection, which would entail an additional $1.23 million expense for Green Bay, impacting their salary cap. Moreover, Bakhtiari could potentially file an injury grievance against the Packers, seeking his full $21.5 million salary. In such a scenario, 40% of the grievance, $8.6 million, would immediately affect Green Bay's cap. Depending on the resolution of the case, the Packers may have to pay Bakhtiari more money, resulting in further cap implications, or potentially receive a credit towards their future cap room if the payment is less or nothing at all. Nevertheless, this presents an uncomfortable situation, with the additional cap usage posing challenges to the Packers' plans. If Bakhtiari can sign with another team, it would avert such a drastic scenario. Injury status Having torn his ACL almost 40 months ago, Bakhtiari has played only 13 games since, experiencing intermittent appearances due to lingering issues. His ACL isn't the primary concern anymore. Following the end of his 2023 season after just one game, Bakhtiari detailed his situation. During the initial ACL surgery, doctors removed approximately 10 to 15 percent of his lateral meniscus. Despite this, fluid buildup persisted, causing chronic discomfort. Subsequent examinations revealed a problem in the femoral condyles, which weren't symptomatic during the initial surgery. Bakhtiari described his knee as feeling like sandpaper, leading to persistent swelling. He underwent further surgeries and rehab to address these issues. For the Packers, the risk of paying Bakhtiari without assurances of his availability for the 2024 season was deemed too great, and renegotiating his contract was deemed unrealistic. Consequently, both parties went their separate ways, although this doesn't signal the end of Bakhtiari's career. Market Following his release by the Packers, the New York Jets seemed like a logical destination for Bakhtiari offering a reunion with quarterback Aaron Rodgers, as well as addressing their offensive line issues. However, the Jets instead signed Tyron Smith and acquired Morgan Moses, resolving their tackle concerns. At present, the Kansas City Chiefs appear to be the most suitable destination for Bakhtiari. With Donovan Smith still unsigned, Bakhtiari could offer a significant upgrade and potentially manage a lighter workload during the regular season. Ultimately, Bakhtiari's next step is to ensure his fitness for an entire season. Once he achieves this, interested teams are likely to emerge, providing hope for the Packers.